What I'm going to do in this video is uh, demonstrate how you can download and install the library for um, the ATEM switcher um, for the Arduino platform and give you a sort of um, little tutorial on how to get started if you want to try this yourself at home. So the first thing you do is uh, basically you um, download the library from uh, GitHub and you should have the link by now then you um, install it in the folder called libraries which is a subfolder to the Arduino folder which is in your documents folder in this case on a Mac and uh, in the ATEM library um, we have uh, the header file and the actual um, code file and then some examples as well and um, then you start the Arduino application and um, you can quite quickly check if you are actually hooked up to the switcher simply by going to examples ATEM and then you take something like ATEM monitor and um, then you press upload and now you'll see in the bottom here it's first compiling then it's uploading and uh, when it's done uploading like now you um, you uh, open the serial monitor and um, the serial monitor looks like this so basically you'll see now that it receives packages from the ATEM switcher this is a confirmation that there is a connection to the ATEM switcher you also see that where um, uh, a little um, communication error but it recovered quite neatly from that so there's no problem now um, in behind this application I have the control panel for the ATEM switcher running so um, I could uh, switch cameras uh, on the preview and program bus as you can see here and um, what you will see confirmed from the serial monitor is that these commands are actually picked up by the Arduino so for instance I make a cut now so we'll see a change in the preview and program bus basically the inputs are swapped so far so good um, what you might quickly like to do is to hook your Arduino up to a breadboard with some buttons and uh, play around with uh, some customized hardware and uh, I have a suggestion uh, basically this breadboard I have right here is um, available as a schematic file in the library so there's a PDF file in the library and um, I just quickly drew this for you so if you have an Arduino with a breadboard um, basically sort of a starter kit that you can buy around on the internet you will be able to do this um, based on this drawing and it's hooked up like this now um, if you have done that, you can now download from the, um, or, or you can uh, pick up another example f uh, called um, basic control. And uh, when you pick that one up, you upload to the board, so it's first compiling, then it's uploading. Alright, and then your board should now be, be running. So basically, when I press this button, you can see uh, changes happening to the tally uh, LEDs, but you can also see on the little monitor here that the um, program and preview swaps places. Although I have no video inputs at the moment, all fields are obviously blank. Sorry for that, but uh, not possible. So, um, what I would like to do next is a little risky on television, I would say, and that is simply to um, connect another Arduino. I have other boards. This is an uh, Arduino Ethernet. And the neat thing about this one is that basically it's the same as this one, although everything is on one board. So, that's pretty cool. And um, uh, so, basically, it has a smaller footprint. Now, I'm gonna remove these wires basically are I could place them over here in the other Arduino um, now these wires basically 
Oh, uh, they follow the schematics that I pointed to just a moment ago. So. Like that. And um, I disconnect the Ethernet cable and the USB cable. Like that. Keep the monitor in place. And then I need to put this into the 5 volt and ground. Okay, um, connect the Ethernet again. Okay, so um, one thing which is sort of annoying with the uh, Arduino Ethernet where everything is on one print uh, or print the circuit board is that you need another kind of cable to program it. So you can't just use the regular USB cable, you need to have one of these if TDI or FDTI cables um, and connect it to this header like that and then the other end to my to my laptop like that okay so um I can use the same sketch, but what I need to do is to tell it that I use an Arduino Ethernet board, as you can see right here, that's the one thing we need to do. And also um, the serial port will be something else, I think, um, or maybe it's just this one USB serial, yeah, we'll see. Okay, but anyway, I um, press the upload button. And hopefully we'll see that it works. Uploading is done. Okay, so back to my breadboard. And the monitor here. We'll just check again. And as you can see the LEDs are switching. And also on my my uh, multi-viewer, you see switching happening here as I press the button. So um, this worked as well. Now just a final note on these uh, shields. Um, there's also an Arduino Mega which has a lot of I.O. as you can see. Um, uh, this is an Arduino One and I just bought an Ethernet shield with the power over Ethernet on top of this one but that's sort of rare, you need to know that you have power over Ethernet from the um, from the switch you're connected to but otherwise you just buy an Ethernet shield just like this so it comes in a sweet little package and you take it off the foam it looks like this um, one very important thing is that um, the MAC address, which is written right here, gets into the script up here. So basically, the configuration you need to do for each time you compile the script and upload to an Arduino is to set the MAC address so that it matches the one which is written on the shield. Um, luckily, somehow, it didn't <laughs> affect my my change of boards that I just did, that um, I didn't change this MAC address. So somehow it, it doesn't really prove my point, um, but I'm sure it's a really bad idea that you uh, configure it for the wrong IP uh, or the wrong MAC address in, in the software. So I uh, remember that. But basically, an Ethernet shield, it works like this, that you Take this one on top of your Arduino and uh, then push everything down, something like that. <laughs>